Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play a gypsy jazz standard called Chavalo Swing. <laughs> Now this tune was written uh, for the film Lacho Drum, a 1992 film about the story of the gypsies. And um, this particular scene, uh, Dorado Schmidt and his brother uh, Chavalo uh, appear in this film uh, playing uh, this tune which they wrote for the film. Uh, they are in Saint-Marie de la Mer which is uh, a little town in the south of France on the coast. Uh, where the gypsies meet every summer for a religious celebration and uh, there are wild happenings and lots and lots of music and uh, I'd love to go there one day. And um, I'm going to run through the intro, the basic melody and I'll show you some ideas for bowing and ornamentation and a bit of a solo. Uh, so let's start off with the intro um, which is a simple descending line one, two, three, four. And then you can either do a low A like that, or you can do a slide up with your fourth finger to the um, harmonic on the A. So that's the intro. Let me just play that. So uh, the third time round I did parallel fifths, which means for the D note I was fingering also the upper string playing an A, and for the C same thing uh, with a G note above it, B flat. Uh, so that uh, thickens it up, you could do that each time if you wanted. So that happens three times and then it's into uh, probably the most important phrase in the whole tune which is now this is it's important to get the right bowing and feel for this if this is not smooth and precise then uh, you're not going to succeed with this tune so we're going to start with um, an up bow three notes slurred so we hit the D with the down and then So I'm doing da 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 da. So we step it then to a down bow and I lift that off and punch down again. And then two downs for those two notes. So I'll go through all that phrase again. One, two, three. And a bit faster. One, two, one, two, three. One more time, one, two, three. And if you can do a bit of a wild vibrato towards the end of the last F, that's one of the features of uh, Dorado Schmidt's playing um, throughout this piece is that on the end of the long notes it gives this wide fierce vibrato. So practice that, that one phrase until you've really got that. Um, so it comes twice. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then it's ending on the E. And then it's a high E, which I do with a harmonic. So that's. got a difficult descending line. I'm going to do this in chain bowing. So start with a separate, then a slur. And end with 
a few separates. So the, fing the fingering for that descending line is 2, 1, open, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, open, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll do that again from the run-up. 1, 2. So if you are familiar with chromatic fingering, it's still hard because it's not chromatic at the beginning and end of that run. So this is really quite tricky and needs a lot of practice. Uh, let's just take it up to that point. descending line we go back into and then it's different here fourth finger so position wise um, I'm moving up to third position on that A and using second finger for and then we've got this run um, so I'm, fing I'm bowing that up, three slurred, and then uh, separate, three slurred, separate, three slurred. And I'm doing two up bows. So let's go from um, um, bar 24. One, two, three, four, one. Then into what you might call the bridge, where it goes to C. Same again. Fingering for that. Two, two, three. That's what I do. And then. could do a trill on that. Then it's back to the beginning. This phrase again. So let's do all of that at that medium tempo and then we'll do it fast.
Um, if you're doing this uh, with the band, you might well do the intro again at the end as an outro. Uh, and incidentally, I very often do. I do the fourth note early. Down, 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 down. Um, I can't remember if that's on the original, but that seems like the natural way to do it to me. I'm just going to show you a couple of licks that uh, Dorado uses. Um, it's very common in Gypsy Jazz to do a minor six. So if, if you're on D minor, that's the root, that's the fifth, that's the sixth. So any, any phrase that uses the, um, the emphasizers, that B natural, uh, is going to work nicely. So one that uh, Dorado actually uses is one, two, three, four. And that will work on any of the D minors. And one that he doesn't play, but he might well have done, is... This is a great one for the fiddle. If you slur two, and then slur three, Really nice lick. One that he does on the um, on, on the high D's is to do a trill, uh, either a uh, second finger trill or a third finger trill. And another great lick he does on the uh, on the high D, a set of triplets. So you've got the first finger on the A, fourth finger on the D, and you're doing that descending line. So this is quite an easy tune to improvise on. Um, you have to make sure that you don't miss the change to the C. But uh, I'm going to play, I'll play once through the melody and uh, I'll do a solo and then I'll improvise around the melody to the end of that. And uh, if you'd like a copy of the dots then do subscribe, send me an email and I'll be happy to send you a copy. I'll play you out with this uh, version with a bit of soloing. See you again soon.